2024 in Biblical Foresight. Keep an eye on these four significant shifts. In 2 Timothy 3, 1, 3, it's highlighted that in the last days challenging times are on the horizon. Picture this, a world where people are consumed by self-love, acting boastful, proud, and disobedient. A total of 19 traits are outlined, but today, let's zoom in on just four. First up, lovers of their own selves. Fast forward to 2024 and we're witnessing a profound societal shift, an extreme surge in self-love and individualism. As Apostle Paul predicted, we're living in a time when people are overwhelmingly focused on themselves, prioritizing personal needs and desires above all else. This isn't your ordinary self-care. It's a troubling form of self-absorption where individuals see themselves as the center of the universe. It's a mindset summed up as me, me, and more me, a world where personal needs overshadow consideration for others, even those closest to them. This transformation marks a departure from the values of compassion, community, and selflessness, signaling a significant change in the way we interact with one another. The narrative is shifting from we to me, challenging the core principles of empathy and shared responsibility. In our daily lives, we're seeing a shift that highlights how selfishness is affecting relationships. Whether it's self-centered mothers or husbands, this trend of prioritizing personal gain often comes at the cost of communal well-being and connections with others. It's a departure from the values taught in the Holy Bible. The Bible emphasizes the importance of love for others, a concept embodied and taught by Jesus Christ. Take the Good Samaritan story, for instance, which sharply contrasts with the actions of the priest and the Levite. It encourages us to step beyond ourselves, showing empathy, kindness, and love for our neighbors. Unfortunately, these values are becoming scarce in a world increasingly embracing a me-first culture. In today's society, acts of selflessness, generosity, and genuine concern for others are exceptions rather than the norm. The prevailing attitude is me first, and this is a significant issue that will likely worsen in the years to come. Selfishness lies at the core of many problems we face, from adultery to neglecting responsibilities, exploiting others, spreading rumors and betrayal. It's the root of all our difficulties. How can we shake off selfishness, 